For the love of Christ compels us. Compels means holds us to Him. It's the love of God through His Son that holds you to Him. You think it's you? No, it's Him. But it's in the experience of His love towards you that you can express love. See, until you know love, you have no love uh, in which to make known. Yeah? And the, the, the revelation that Paul needed wasn't a theory of God, but the reality of God. And that reality of God's love was revealed to him through Jesus by way of his death and his burial and his resurrection. That's what Paul knew. So he says here, for the love of Christ compels us. His motivation, therefore, based on what he experienced, was what compelled him. He met love to walk in love. He met forgiveness to forgive. He met righteousness to walk in righteousness. Are you with me? He met peace to walk with peace. He met joy to walk in joy in spite of external circumstances, not because of them. So because he possessed the Prince of Peace, peace was his reality and he was compelled not from external demand, but internal motivation. What's the, the compulsion, Richie? The love of Christ compelled him. And so we see that's the difference between uh, the unforced rhythms of God's grace and trying to be a good Christian. For the love of Christ compels us because we have judged thus that if one died for all, then all died. His death was your death. Okay? There is nobody, nobody who Christ has not died for. Richie, really, with all I've done, stuff that I am so ashamed of, stuff I've buried and suppressed, stuff I swore I would take to the grave, guess what? Jesus beat you to it. <laughs> That's the scandal of this gospel, my friend. It's the scandal. <laughs> the, this gospel I'm preaching to you is a stumbling block to the carnal condition because it rules him out and it rules Jesus in. He's the glory and the lifter of your head. No longer live for themselves, but for and in Him who died for them and rose again. This is the greatest miracle of all humanity and all history from this present time right back to Adam. The miracle of redemption, that Jesus died for you, that Jesus was buried for you, and you have been raised in Him. We don't believe miracles. Don't know why, because you're a walking miracle. And if you can believe and your faith can receive the finished work of the cross, there is nothing you cannot believe for because every miracle finds its origin in the resurrection. So if you believe you're raised in Christ Jesus, you can equally believe you are healed in Christ Jesus. You can equally believe you are blessed in Christ Jesus. You can equally believe you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. You can equally believe that you're a son of God. 